What is going on guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at Inform Honda. Now I'm not sure if EA is going to be releasing a second Inform Honda today. Just my luck to be honest with you guys. And um, if you guys hear birds in the background it's because I have my windows open. It's so flaming hot here. And every time I turn my fan off, every time I want to do a commentary, I start sweating like a motherfucker man. But anyway, let's begin with the review. If you guys are looking for coin, check out UT Coin Traders. The link will be in the description. And now, Inform Honda is only going for 190k on the PS3 and he is pretty rare on the PS3 market. But since the second Inform might be showing up later on today, um, you might be expecting him to go way less than what he's already going for. I, I'm predicting around 100k or even around 80k so he's gonna drop massively today if EA announced a second Inform. Now his long shots were very inconsistent for me even though I did score a couple of long shots they hit and, they hit and miss with me. Uh, sometimes he would blast it like a rocket sometimes they would be weak and sometimes they would be off target so let me know in the comment section below if you guys um, encounter this sort of problem with inform honda don't get me wrong he's really good at long shots but sometimes they don't i don't know they just don't live up to his stats now his pace is um average uh he's not slow he's not fast as well so he's just right when it comes down to pace he's got a good free kick so i nearly scored one of them even though the goalkeeper saved it but it was a really decent free kick now dribbling wise I thought he was going to be stiff because he seems pretty strong on the ball and some defenders were having a very difficult time trying to dispossess Honda and Honda I felt he was stronger than what his in-game stats were showing so that's a very big advantage in my opinion because he has decent pace and very good shooting and really good strength so really good for a center or attacking midfielder also he has high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate which is my ideal work rate for a center attacking midfielder or even a striker so those work rates are perfect for those sort of positions but anyway let's get back to his dribbling his dribbling did not feel stiff at all i was able to dribble past a couple of defenders you will see this in the video and they were having a very hard time trying to stop me when i'm dribbling past them he's a very good dribbler in my opinion i felt he was better at dribbling than what his in-game stats sh were showing as well. Now another thing you have to know is in the penalty area this guy is very very dangerous. Even with his finesse shots they are very reliable to take finesse shots with his left foot. His right foot is okay. I didn't I didn't think it was a four star right foot. I, thought, I felt it was more like a two or three star weak foot so right foot didn't feel as deadly as his left foot his left foot is so disgusting in the penalty area if you shoot it and the goalkeeper is going to save it he will go inside the inside the net with it so very very strong left foot but like I said, the only two disadvantages for Inform Honda, in my opinion, are his expensive 190k for his overall on the PS3. That is quite expensive, and especially since he's rare. But if you don't want to buy this guy, make sure you wait until the second Inform. And if you want, if you don't have enough money for the second Inform, purchase this one because this one's going to get cheaper. And like I said, his long shots are really good, but sometimes they are very inconsistent. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know in the next uh, in in the comment section below who you want me to review next i'm pretty sure all of you are going to be like second inform honda if he gets confirmed but uh like i said if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate a like and as usual guys i really hope you have a very nice day